I'm back again. I just wanted to cover a few things uh, for the moment. Uh, the first thing is, I want to say, so far, so good. So far, so good, which means um, I'm, uh, we got 6,000 pounds of load. It's pretty light. The reason why is because after all this repairs with it, just want to make sure that, you know, it's, it's going to drive comfortable. Uh, we're crossing right now uh, Virginia, and uh, uh, the weather's not pretty good. It should have been pretty sunny uh, for the head, for for me at least. But anyhow, uh, so far it's been 200 over miles of rain. Uh, it's, it's okay. I don't complain. But anyway. Um, the truck is running pretty good. I mean, I, I feel uh, it's smoother, much, much smoother. Turbo is working fine. And so far, there is no like sneezing or kind of like uh, a hesitation or or it is like a misfire or any kind of like hesitation that can cause uh, a certain different type of damage. But in anyhow, it's fine. It looks good. Oh, we got weight station coming up. Sweet. So, looking good so far. So good. Uh, looks like uh, I got about another 33 miles to go, and I'm going to end it for tonight. Uh, just about, we're driving approximately six, six hours or so. Alright, so we, we're, I'm taking my time. So it's not like rushing, rushing. I always take my time. I basically don't rush. I don't like to rush. Uh, all all the, the loads are given to me is just take my time. The, uh, so the weight station is open and I will be uh, slowing down just up above this hill. Only 6,000 pounds. Now the speed says we must slow down to 40 miles an hour. These guys are nice. When I first started, uh, they load the trailer up like uh, all the heavy loads were on my axle, and uh, I moved all the way, but not far enough to a point where I was the weight was about 2,000, 2,100 pounds over the axle. Uh, but they were nice enough actually. They uh, they asked me to go back there and adjust the axles and uh, circled around and came back. Uh, weight was okay, got adjusted. I was total about 60,000 pounds. So they pretty much knew that, you know, I have plenty of room to play with these axles. Yep, then I circled around back into the scale. They gave me the green light, handshake, salute, and uh, I was on my way. So anyway, 
Uh, coming back to the truck. Truck is nice. Running good. Uh, after putting a fresh, brand new gasket for the exhaust manifold, uh, brand new EGR, uh, brand new Viva, brand new turbo, brand new harness wire. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, valves and injectors. We dust them all. We, we drain the antifreeze out. We put brand new antifreeze. We put a. Um, we uh, dump all the bad oil out. We put fresh, brand new oil. All the filters are new. A muffler is new. A turbo. The uh, turbo that it exits the air and that exhausts that's new. Uh, pretty much, we did like new. Uh, look, so far so good. Can't wait to leave this highway and park the truck and just lay down and close my eyes and go to sleep. I just about a couple hours back behind. There was I wish I had this video on uh, a car driver cut me off like four feet away from my bumper, four feet away from my bumper, and he wanted to get off the highway and into the exit, out the highway, in the exit, and away from me, but he got so close, he almost lost control in the rain. I wish I had the video, and at times like this, I should have the video recording at all times. And however, I don't. Because I drive safe, I drive slow, I don't go fast, I take my time. You know, it's best for everybody. Well, that's the way to do it. Well, I'm going to have to X out. I'll see you guys in the morning. We'll see how the day is going to be like tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's going to be sunny. Uh, blue skies, uh, temperature should be in the 50s, and then I can throw this sweater off and wear, put on a t-shirt. Until then, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.